All right, we're back with Pokemon Shining Pearl. And I'm going to swap in Risu first. Then again, I guess it depends on which uh, Elite Four we fight first. I guess I didn't do any preparation before starting the recording, but that's okay. We can do it as a little preamble. So we're pretty much done with the game. I mean, there's still definitely other things we could do, like contests and... You know, maybe we'll get around to that stuff in the distant future. But for now, I think we're going to use this as a little bookend. Let's just fill up on that. We have all the money we could ever want, so... Get some full restores, too. We got plenty. We probably have enough revives, but nothing wrong with getting about 50. We definitely want to be prepared for these fights. Don't really need any more max repels. So, <laughs> we bought pretty much just enough for the rest of the adventure. At least for now. So, our Pokemon are minimum level 75. I know they beef up the Elite Four. I'm assuming they beef them up to be higher than the gym leaders that you rematch. I think they might be in the 80s, um, but I guess we're going to find out. I definitely want to beat them all again, not just re-challenge them, so... Who knows, we might have to come back again after some more intense training, but for now, we got our little bug boy here. Uh, let's... okay. Well, you know what, Let, we'll start off with her. Hey there, I'm Aaron. I'm actually, uh, I've battled with you before, haven't I? Wait a moment, my bug Pokemon are buzzing about something. You must have gotten even stronger. The hunts of a bug-type Pokemon is rarely wrong. Alright then, I'll battle you once more with all my strength. See, they were going easy on us at first, apparently. I don't know why, but they were. It's like, how can you validly claim someone's the champ? Oh, he doesn't even have six Pokemon. And the tr gym leaders got six Pokemon. What's going on here? Yeah, I was thinking maybe... Oh. He's level 65. Bug buzz. Just guarantee a paralysis here. We especially want to paralyze this guy because he keeps boosting his speed, so we want to lower his speed some more. Uh, these are both spe. Oh well, it, it, the faster the user is than the target, so that's definitely not going to be valid here. We might not even. Okay, we did uh, outspeed him this time. But that might not happen next time. He gets the next speed boost. Well, I guess Rusu isn't going to find out. I was kind of hoping he'd stay paralyzed, but it didn't really work. Okay, he has high... S okay. We'll go with this, then. If he's going to boost his speed, we won't even bother trying to outspeed him. We'll... Um, wall him. I thought he might do that. So now he's going to get all his speed back. Hopefully he... I, he was using his special attacks there. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a, a very strong physical either. I mean... He doesn't have a, a physical strength to max his special. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't worry about yourself, pal. I'm just getting ready. Although, I am gonna attack him this next turn. Since apparently he likes to use Detect, I'm going to want to fight him when he... Wait a second. Why was he able to use that twice? Well, I see he likes to do that so he can... 
uh, stall for more uh, speed boosting. Does it only go up to six stages, or for speed boost, does it go indefinitely? Who knows? I knew he was going to do that. I don't really care that, um... Well, okay, you can theoretically use Detect twice in a row, but it's, like, really unlikely. But I don't think it should matter that I didn't use an attacking move. He, I don't think he should have been able to use it twice in a row, unless it was just lucky. Lucky. Alright, that should be the last time he can use that. Bug. Buzz. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so I don't think this Elite Four rematch is going to be all that exciting. If 65 is what they're going to be. I'm the coolest. I wonder if he has any moves that won't miss on another Pokemon, I mean. What? I'm sure that only has five uses. Oh, now it hits. Yeah, good job. Speaking of which, Lucario should have a high crit rate. Heresy Cross. So it's like upside down or something. Yeah, that's going to be hard to pull off. I think close combat is not very likely to hit already. I mean, it's like 90 or something. Wow, he must have high special defense. Although it's a little lower now. <laughs> uh Interesting. Hmm. Well, if he does land one of those, I know who I'm gonna switch in to replace her. Well, that's nice. Even though he's probably about to use his potion here, at least uh, his special defense will be lowered a good amount. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if that orb is still going to put him on fire after he's been cured. Like, does it only do it once? Or not? Nope, it, he gets burned again. Bugs burn. Nice try, pal. I wonder if I swapped in Mistrevis, what move he'd use then. I guess like a strong physical bug move, and it would probably one-shot her. Or at least it would if we weren't so over-leveled. I guess we'll stay with Pussy and just use up the rest of her. Too nervous to eat berries. Oh, because they're bees. Bees are scary. Well, she's gonna have some special attacks. But, I think she has some physical, too. Ah. So she's the one using a never-miss move. Well, it's a good thing I'm lowering her attack, then. Let's see, I'll charm her up, and then use up my Shadow Balls. And then if she doesn't die from the Shadow Balls... Defend order. Unless that raises special, it's not going to help her too much. Ah, it, okay, I thought it did. Wow, well, I guess we would be faster. We're a much higher level. Oh, they want your special defense.
I should probably just swap out before she boosts her stats anymore, since we're not getting very far. Well, I, I guess that helps. Hack order. Oh, I guess... Huh. Alright, well... I might be worried about her aerial ace. Um, hmm. Yeah, that that be, that becomes 110, and there's no stab, and that's 120. Of course, uh, it's 120, and it gets some uh, recoil. So we'll go with that, especially since he's already damaged and is a much lower level. Oh. oh. I'm surprised. I g guess he did have defend order. Yeah. Well, anyway, we lowered her attack a lot, so that's why that didn't do much to us. There's just so much aerial acing around. They're just flying about the room. It's like, yeah, it's like, imagine Rock Lee fighting himself. That's what's going on there. They're like, like that. Anyway. <laughs> Flare Blitzkrieg. Well, too bad for you. That didn't help. Hopefully the Elite Four do get more leveled up as we fight more of them, because otherwise this will be pretty disappointing, I think. Not yet. We'll keep struggling till the very end. Yo, you struggle bug. Oh, look at that effect. Is he gonna give us a sticker, too? Huh. Is this guy... Dark Poison? Earthshake. Super effective and a critical hit. Man, he wasn't surviving that one. Well, you can't use Earthquake against her. And you can very much use it against Lucario, so... I think that choice is obvious. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. Uh oh. Why is he faster? What level is he? We're about to find out. Hopefully he'll just hit himself to death. It's possible. Quick Claw. Uh, Shadow Ball is not going to do any good. So even raising Blissey, you know, just to uh, stall some more isn't really going to help much. So we probably just want Infernape. And then he uses Flare Blitz. And of course Lucario. He can do some stuff, I think. Risu, um, I think she'll be fast. And she could paralyze him. Rats. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was a critical hit. This is all the god with everything she's got. She trusts the plan. Oh, right, he's faster. Cough off it. Why didn't the confusion ever work? It's gonna get over it next turn, I think. Alright, hopefully Risu is faster. 
It's just gotta be, right? What the hell? What, are we just gonna have to wait out the earthquakes? What? Bullshit. At least we can survive one hit. I guess he is level 69, though. He's a higher level. Look at this life force. What is a bug's life force? Alright, well... I almost forgot about that. <coughs> It's 69, not 79. Why, why are all of our Pokemon being outsped? That's ridiculous. Guess I was still one step behind. You've won. Yeah. I win, you lose. Screw you. Uh, today always... As always, my bug Pokemon were truly beautiful. They didn't waste a single motion. And they pulled off some perfectly polished moves. The only thing that held them back from winning is my own weakness. If I can improve myself, then they'll get a chance to shine brighter than beautify wings in the sun. Let's hear it from my Pokemon. You're not going to give me a sticker? Whoops, got a little carried away again. Anyway, carry on to the next room. Strong trainers. Mm. Uh, stronger trainers. Yeah, I was just testing out the ZL and ZR button. I, I noticed the little ridge on them. I never noticed before. It feels a little awkward, and uh, that made it so that the it would move on. All right, revivals. All oh, right, passed her up. That was way closer than it should have been. What the heck was with his speed? That's eh, close enough. She has enough for another one. Oh, never mind. Another one. Hmm. Wonder what it's. Oh, maybe it's a straight up number rather than a percentage. She could use it on Lucario and it wouldn't uh, do too much. Oh well. And the reason I'm doing it like this once again. as a reminder, um, it uses a proportional amount of HP rather than, like, wasting a potion, so that's why, like, she only loses 3 HP there. Oops. So, because it does it perfectly, you can fully heal a Pokemon without, like, wasting a potion on it, like, using a 50 HP potion to feel 40 HP. So it's less of a waste. <laughs> so we might only end up doing that once, with one Hyper Potion rather than three. As it happens, uh, we're one HP sort, which is almost perfect. And I'm a, I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to <laughs> saving potions by n not healing up to, you know, what beyond the max would be. Okay, I think she's ground type. We have a bit of a ground weakness here. We have three people weak to ground. But we do have this. And Earthquake is strong. A strong physical. So that's... She's not going to be too good. <clears throat> I think we probably had Gyarados last time we were here. And not Lucario. 
so we were a little more even. So we're going to have to rely on some stuff. Well, well, I see if you've returned, dear child. It looks as though you've grown more confident since the last time we met. What? Well, that's funny. <laughs> but don't forget, with age comes the power to shake the earth and a force that will of will that can split the ground beneath your feet. <laughs> Let this old lady show you what a little life experience can do. She's so stylish. With all of her scarf and... Well, well, I guess it's just her scarf. And we have a scarf too, so we're stylish too. But it just works together. She has the white coat and it goes with her hair. <laughs> okay, I, I think we're okay here. Because... His other moves, besides ground, are going to be water, and those are mostly special. And she's, she can handle those a little better. Of course, uh, I guess that was alright. He's going to use Psychic Move again. Um, so we could swap out for, well, maybe for free, but maybe not. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going gonna, gonna to want to use some PP restoration on her Shadow Ball at some point. Yeah, I forgot. We're not going to be able, the PP, uh, we're going to have to heal ourselves. Okay. I guess we'll just stick with it. And hope Confuse Ray counts towards being a status. <laughs> I think maybe it does. That was pretty powerful. Or maybe it's just the level difference. I think... Oh. I thought she was going to try to heal there, so I was going to try to... Well, I split the difference, If I uh, and it worked out. Because if I had tried to use Confuse Ray, then it would have failed. And if I... It, but if she healed, and I used Hex, then it wouldn't have done the double. At least I presume it did, did the double that time. I guess he's going to have a rock move, huh? Huh? Oh. Right. Oh yeah, I guess we, Azumarill is at least strong against these folk. Of course. I was expecting to get frozen there. Anyway, so I use I split the difference by using Psybeam, because that would do some damage, and it might reconfuse him. If he uh, was restored. Earthshake! Hey, she's kind of buffy. Or he is rather buffy. By Buffy, I mean, uh, bulky. That's it. I knew you could do it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Fly score. The last score. Earthquake. So that's kind of pointless, except to heal Azumarill. Like, like, let's go. 
Let's get the glide score settled. I guess Mario Kart updated. Hyper Potion. Well, two of his ten earthquakes are down. She had a team of five as well. 80 and 90. We're starting to get to the point where this isn't necessarily going to have more PP. Please don't miss. That's probably going to save us from... Yeah from him being healed. Of course, we maybe want him to be healed. Rather than a later Pokemon, which will presumably be stronger. But he's giving us enough trouble as it is, so... Maybe it's just as well. Golem. Like, yeah, I can't imagine him getting giving us as much trouble. For that matter, uh, you could probably... Okay. He's gonna have Sturdy. And he's gonna have Earthquake. So, presuming that Infernape gets one shot anyway, we may as well use Close Combat So. We get the sturdy done, and we. I think that still has an effect, even if they are not at full HP. So it's not like we could do power up punts and then close combat, and then he would be fainted. I don't think it would work that way. Because even if he has less than full HP, I think sturdy now works so that he's still going to remain, which I think is probably good. Because it'd be kind of, it's kind of a weak uh, skill otherwise. Okay. Super effective. What's... Yeah, Earthquake. Oh, clearly I'm a good sailor no more. I guess that works. Thrilled to bits. Got ourselves a little breathing room. I probably should have used a full restore. Forget to do that. None of our Pokemon are you know, hanging on recently. She doesn't have any attack moves that aren't electric. Uh, I just realized we're in a bit of trouble here. It's 120. And... Assuming that's not going to faint her, because the other one didn't faint her either. Okay. Let's 
So C can kind of wall a little bit, at least until he gets a critical. So we can full restore. And revive some other Pokemon. Probably at least want the car, yo. Oh. Wait a second. Does that even make sense? Whatever. Amazing, I only have one max revive. Okay. I think Infernape has the, like, the one-hit KO move, though. It's probably what we're gonna want. Heavy Slam. I was not expecting that. I guess he, um, she wants to save on her earthquakes. Just gonna do it again. Nope. Did she read that I was gonna uh, use a post in there? She's picked up on my pattern. a critical hit. Right, we're gonna heal her one more time and then we're gonna use her to take him out and then we'll see where we stand from there. I could keep grinding like this, especially since he only has so many earthquakes. Yeah, he only does have so many earthquakes. It would be smarter to keep stalling like, get these guys back to full. Um, probably not so important in Fernape, because he can just do close combat to finish anybody off. Okay, we're just gonna go forward. Lowers user's attack and defense. Okay, this has more accuracy, so we're gonna wanna not miss. Oh, he moves first. Who to thunk? I mean, he's lower level than a golem. He shouldn't be fast. Hey, and they get more experience that way, too. Okay, here we go. Haha, <laughs> victory may be in sight, but take care not to lose your cool or whatever. He's probably gonna outspeed us, huh? Okay, I guess not. And I believe he bulks... Oh. Well, that was a bit underwhelming, but... I guess it's good we got the experience for the rest of the party. That was quite something. You, your youth gives confidence in a battle that can't be forsaken. Uh, yeah, I, I read through that quickly because I thought that it was going to disappear. I didn't know I had time to read it. <laughs> no matter how the world sifts, you and your Pokémon will always be sore-footed. You're steadier today than all the days before. Okay, cool. Now continue as far as you want. We will in the next one. Let's see, what else was I going to say? Well, um, we revived the Pokemon in the fight, so they got experience, so that's nice. Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was. Had something to do with her, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we'll fight the rest of them in the next one. And I guess we'll save Cynthia for last, because... If it takes about half an hour to beat two of them, then we're going to beat two of them, and then she'll be last. And Maybe that'll work out fine, because maybe it'll take a long time to fight her. Her Pokemon probably are level 80. I think maybe that's what they did in the second Zen games. 
the, the when you rematched the Elite Four, they were like level 80 or whatever. <laughs> We'd definitely be in more trouble if that were the case. Alright, well, see you then. Bye.